Gonna go take a nap now. Taking a nap. I'm a trained brewer and a professional distiller and this channel is dedicated to all drinks that are brewed or distilled. Today we're going to talk about the Asian flush reaction. Now you may have noticed when you're out drinking that when some people drink just even a little bit of alcohol their face turns bright tomato red. This redness in the face happens to a lot of Asian people, myself included, and it's known as the Asian flush or Asian glow. So let's get to it! About 50% of the Japanese, Korean, and Northeastern Chinese population experience this alcohol flush reaction, or AFR. Symptoms include nausea, increased heart rate, and blotchy red patches on the face and neck. The alcohol flush reaction can also cause the body to feel hot and can cause respiratory reactions such as the worsening of asthma and rhinitis. Rhinitis being the inflammation of mucous membranes, which can cause stuffy nose, runny nose, and sneezing. It's important to note that although it's called the Asian glow, non-Asians can experience this reaction too. For myself, when I drink alcohol, too much alcohol too quickly, then my face gets really blotchy and red, my neck, my chest, pretty much all over my whole body and then my eyes get bloodshot and sometimes I have trouble breathing and my heart rate beats very fast so it is kind of uncomfortable for me to drink too much so that's why when I drink I have two rules which are to always drink on a full stomach and to make sure that I drink only one drink every two hours so I can usually stretch this to one drink every three or four hours. To demonstrate the Asian flush reaction today, I will be drinking this 50 milliliter bottle of London Dry Gin and it's 45% ABV. I'm drinking on an empty stomach today. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. It should really come into effect very quickly. So let's do it and I'll also set a stopwatch so I can see how much time has elapsed. Here we go. Doo -doo. Drinking alcohol. And there we go. Oh my god. Oh, it burns. Oh. It's, not a, it's not a good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? Okay. So it's been over 10 minutes since I started drinking the gin. I'm feeling very hot in the face. My face feels very red and very warm to me. I did have a little bit of a cough prior to drinking the gin. I think it has worsened. I just feel a little bit like out of it right now. Everything is kind of a little bit loopy and it's only been like 10 minutes. I think my face is starting to get red. I think I might, I might try to drink some more gin to see what happens. So I think I'll just open this, this other gin which is 40% alcohol, and it's also 50 milliliters. My face feels very, very hot now. Over 33 minutes now, I think you can see what it's like to suffer from the Asian glow or Asian flush reaction, and it's quite, Unpleasant. I'm very, I'm very dizzy right now. I'm gonna go take a nap now. I do get a bit self-conscious when I drink in public because I get bright red like a tomato face and I always get laughed at about it. 
However, I've never experienced a hangover in my life because of all of the symptoms I experienced from the Asian glow. So this Asian flush occurs because of a common mutation in a key liver enzyme involved in alcohol metabolism called aldehyde dehydrogenase 2 or ALDH2. The mutation means this enzyme doesn't work properly and this leads to a buildup of acetaldehyde, which is a toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism. Acetaldehyde is known to cause cancer and a buildup of acetaldehyde can cause irreversible DNA damage which can cause cancer of the esophagus, liver, pharynx, mouth and larynx and breast. If you are Asian and drink alcohol frequently, you may have a higher risk of getting stomach or esophageal cancer or peptic ulcers due to a genetic inability to efficiently process acetaldehyde, a toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism, says Dr. Tan Ekun, associate consultant at the Department of Hepatopancreato Biliary and Transplant Surgery. So that means if you have this ALDH2 mutation and you drink the same amount of alcohol as someone without this mutation, it may damage your DNA more than those without this mutation, which puts you at greater risk for cancer. In fact, according to a study done by researchers at Stanford, there may be a link between the mutation of the ALDH2 enzyme and Alzheimer's disease. More research has to be done to see whether alcohol drinkers who have the ALDH2 mutation develop Alzheimer's disease at a higher than average rate. Research will also need to be done to see if decreasing the consumption of alcohol will decrease the progression of Alzheimer's disease in people with this enzyme mutation. Unfortunately, there's no cure for the Asian glow, but you can cheat it by taking antihistamines prior to drinking. The most common ones are Pepsid AC and Zantec which are commonly used for treating heartburn and acid reflux. While this may stop people from turning tomato red, these harmful toxins are still accumulating in the body. Also, people might end up drinking even more because they think they're okay. They only mask the problem temporarily and don't actually treat the issue, which is the body's inability to metabolize alcohol properly. Everybody in my immediate family suffers from the Asian glow, so nobody is really a strong drinker in my family. Which probably isn't a very cool thing to admit on a channel about brewing and distilling, but don't hold it against me. It's all genetics. Not being a very social drinker has its advantages though. For instance, I save a lot of money at pubs and restaurants because I can't really drink. As you can imagine, people who experience the alcohol flushing reaction are usually less prone to alcoholism because they simply drink less since drinking is kind of an unpleasant experience. Some people who have this reaction choose not to drink at all, which is of course the best protection against getting conditions like esophageal cancer. What do you think of the Asian glow? Would you mind having it? Let me know in the comments down below. Please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more distilling, brewing, and nerdy drinks videos. This is Bluebird, sending good fudge your way. I'll see you next time.